Virgo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. There's always an extended reading, which I hope that you'll join me for, and that link is right below. Or you can join my Unbound membership and get unlimited access to all the extended readings um, and all the uh, perks to the channel, to the channel memberships. So check it out. Um, there's also... Um, a second channel that I have. It's called Astrology Motivation. And I invite you to join me for daily tarot card readings, Monday through Friday. I go live and do live tarot card readings over there. And I hope that you guys will join. Um, remember that Virgo content comes out every single Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. That's over here on the West Coast. So remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Okay, so we're going to start out with the astrology. And of course, the astrology is time sensitive. But this, this message will come to you whenever it's supposed to come to you, whenever it reaches you. So um, the astrology is, as it's been for a while now, um, you have a trine to Pluto. Um, or I'm sorry, Mercury has a trine to Pluto and a sextile to Neptune, which is very transformative energy, the realignment of your sense of self, especially if you have been self-deluding for a while or been around somebody who just won't see the truth or accept the truth. Virgo, you're extremely, you're an uh, extremely convincing um, um, debatist, debater. Um, and you can even debate yourself all the way into believing a lie because you're discomfort, uncomfortable with the truth. There is going to be more and more pressure. So those of you who are feeling a lot of pressure, it's because there is something you are denying or being delusional about that you are trying to convince yourself and or others that it is the truth and you're going to keep being pushed on and the pressure is going to keep getting heavier until it stops until you accept not your truth but the actual truth and um, are able to then move forward with something. I know that you don't like things to change, but honestly, sometimes they absolutely have to for your betterment, for your happiness. And it's almost like in some ways, you or somebody that you know is keeping yourself, keeping themselves miserable because they'd rather believe the pretty lies than the harsh truth. That kind of energy is something that you might be combating with or coming up against or uh, struggling to get people to see something that they don't want to see. Um, this is the kind of tension that you'd be um, experiencing right now. Today is a very good day for you because Mercury goes direct. You won't really feel the effects of that direct motion, it going direct until maybe the end of this coming week, like next Friday, um, but it is really good energy. You're still trying Pluto, but that means that your your mind is fully back online. Like you can process, um, you can process, um, process information the way that you normally would if you've been having like bumbling in speech it'll come out correctly again there will still be a sense of um, exaggeration because Pluto um, makes everything bigger and makes everything more extreme so you will feel this this um mercury going direct you will feel it a lot you'll you'll feel the energy of something coming correct really uh profoundly um, especially where it's concerned with things like faith or your belief or your religion or something that you have been or something that somebody has been, like I said, insisting upon, um, getting things done, creativity, it'll come back online immediately and you'll be able to move forward with those things in a really nice position. Now there is that uh, opposition to the North, I'm sorry, the South Node, which means um, opposition is almost like having trouble or struggling to get away from your comfort zone or where you where you've come from maybe having struggled to let go of something from childhood or um struggling uh sort of with um, like um your new identity um or the the path forward it's almost like your biggest pitfall can be your comfort zone. That there's a comfort zone here that's actually holding you back and not really allowing you to go forward. During the retrograde, there was just no way that you were going to be um, able to see that. Now that Mercury is going direct, you will be. And definitely by um, next Monday, Tuesday, 
when we have that beautiful full moon and Mercury finally goes is goes is direct so much that it is officially direct like it's direct direct you can start feeling that direct motion and it goes back into Gemini right now it's in Taurus so Taurus the thoughts are very pragmatic they're very solid but you'll see how much your mind opens up and really speeds up once that full moon in Sagittarius happens and Mercury goes back into Gemini so expect a huge rush forward Word in energy um, in the beginning of next week. But for this week, you're st there's still sort of some sort of hesitation or struggle or resistance toward um, uh, uh, resistance toward um, stepping away from a comfort zone or somebody that you're dealing with, like not wanting to listen, not wanting to listen to reason, not wanting to hear it, not wanting to see it. Um, mostly because they're scared of of um some, the unknown or failure so that's the astrology let's get into this virgo and see virgo be fearless and bold but it's in reverse this is aries energy this is lack of energy and now definitely that um Mercury trine Pluto both in retrograde would have really taken the energy out of you or you didn't feel so good about yourself in this this could have been something in the past that you tried and it didn't work out just the loss of energy or almost in some ways feeling like you have no power at all and you don't believe yourself in yourself or a loss of confidence um this was definitely a some sort of loss of confidence but this is in the past so I'm wondering what that happened. This could even be a fight that you lost. And then we have clear out the clutter. So what is it that you have to clear out? This is fourth house energy. And, it, and because they came out together, this is, this is um, they, they relate to each other. So we have um, letting go of the past. And the past is related to be fearless and bold when you couldn't. You know... This is almost like not forgiving yourself for saying something or doing something or standing up for yourself in the past. Um, maybe letting things go or maybe letting things slide or um, getting too stuck in the constant defense of yourself so you actually wore yourself down. This is some battle lost. It's in the past, but there seems to be like the need now to just let it go, let it be, the ability to let it go and let it be, let bygones be bygones and transform yourself into like a, a different version of who you are. It's almost like you're just ready to let it go. It's not about the win or the loss or the perceived failure. It's about that it's over and thinking about it too much is, it's too much of a burden. Um, frog energy is Cancerian. Energy is more transformative than fourth, fourth house related. Um, you might be starting something something new soon six this is venus energy starting something new lay, lay a solid foundation something that you love something that you care about maybe building a home and it's almost like i don't have to do the home the same way that my parents did i can let that go i can just do something that is natural to me also going very slow and pedantically to make sure that you build it right and while you're building it it may be that you found you have a shitload of trash that you have to let go of now this can be metaphoric or literal because you may be like going over the house working over your structure working over where you live what um doing some work on that um or something or your job you're discovering like there's this bulk of shit that you need to like get rid of and it's not working for you anymore so this could be i'm sure because you were retrograde for quite some well, mercury was retrograde for quite some time you found a lot of crap there's so, so there's so much of a buildup right now of bullshit in you and you're just kind of done with it you're just, just just so ready to just not be in it anymore and waste your energy your time and now you're going to get that chance to be able to like let it go and move forward and this is gemini energy life is speeding up so things are coming together and starting to propel forward you're going to be propelled forward especially with your brain power and your insights um whatever this buildup is that's why see because something that you were holding on to was clogging your brain 
You gotta let it, you, if to, by disposing of all this extra shit, you'll have the time to solve the problems that were normally easy for you. You had been slowed down because you were too much, like heaped with this pile of crap that you had to deal with. That's finally clearing, especially when it comes to work or chores around the home, but definitely also emotions and stress. And it could be something to do with your health, finally being able to get rid of something that was getting in the way of impeding your or impeding your health. And once you do that, you're going to soar. You're going to see a lot of progress really fast. Um, Okay, then we have be loyal to what you love. This is Cancerian energy. So somebody really good to you, uh, really loving, really loyal. I think you can finally move forward with this now instead of being held back and this super heavy burden that was on you. There's just this sense of now you can focus on what you care about, especially your family, the family that you've built. Very important. Uh, turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Um, okay. Putting your whole self into something, sacrificing it all. Um, this is really philanthropic energy. So you could, it's like you're, you want to, I don't know, take care of and feed your family or celebrate. This could be a celebration of abundance. Um, hold on. And there is always enough. That's Pisces energy. Mm. There's more than enough. It's almost like you start to see the abundance once you let go of this heavy weight. You start to see that you have an abundance. So this could have to do also with some kind of debt or something. Like it's finally paid off. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Like next week will mark the last of that crap that had held you back and made you stuck. And now you can just like move on and you see, oh my God, I have so many more resources. I have so, I have so much more money. I have so much more time. I have so much more energy now that that block has been removed move that's really interesting so there's definitely a removal of an energetic block here what is this pertaining to to for virgo okay hold on so we have one that's interesting that's not there's no coincidences here so this is the first house believing in yourself the one card came out in reverse on top of it Right on top of it, it fell. Both of them are in reverse. This is the way of seeing yourself or looking at yourself that was incorrect or you had been removed from yourself somehow. Or like I said, you didn't have energy or um, you weren't feeling good or you weren't taking care of yourself. Uh, I don't know. This could, this could definitely be illness in the past. And this is saying, wow, there's a breakthrough, a breakthrough to actually move forward and keep, and like, and now there's so much abundance, especially when it comes to energy is back and there's more than enough. So there's happiness here um, to give to somebody else, to share with people. Um, this could be about love and emotions. You're finally able to put the past behind clear out the space and make room for the building or constructing of something new. And then here we have six. This is the second time you're constructing um, six and six together is usually a relationship because it's Venus energy. It's sort of like two hearts meeting the, that, that energy of two people who are finding each other. So that's very well. And you know what? You can't ever find somebody new when you're holding on to the past or the hurt. And even if you were, you thought you moved on, this marks the time when you're actually rid of the baggage or rid of any obligations that you may have had to that person in the past. Um, we have lay a solid foundation and it's now the, just the number six is about, um, hmm. Hold on. Clear out the clutter. There's always, you know, I just, it's just, you have so many other options, Virgo. And so there's so often that you try, you work so hard because you've committed yourself or you think in your head, um, this is the only way, or I've committed myself to it. So if I don't make, make it work, if I don't cultivate it, I'm a failure. No, you're a failure because you're wasting your energy on something that's clearly not working. And I think that that's what you finally understand and what you're able to let go of. And that's why all this abundance that wants to come into you is coming into you. You're finally shedding, oh, you're, you're finally, you're 
you're finally deciding, you know, losing this battle is not losing the war. I've got to stop fighting this losing battle because I'm taking my energy back. I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing this. This is like the aha moment and the clarity that you finally have to be able to even think about moving forward again, realizing that's what you need. And that in some ways you have been stuck because of this persistent need to, um, um, make it work when it just doesn't, especially a two way street. Anything that's supposed to be a partnership can't just be about you. It's not going to work if it's just your energy. That's why you're drained. Okay. Deeper insights into Virgo, please. Okay. Uh, so this is definitely a wild one. Um, Hunter. Track down your fears and desires. Um, sage, be devoted and committed. And Oracle, wait for important information. So this is definitely a sense of going on the hunt and not giving it up and refusing to give it up. Or you've been looking for signs. You've been wanting signs to tell you what your next move should be. You've been getting signs. You, you Signs have been here. It's almost like you have been intentionally not seeing them or somebody that you know is intentionally turning their head the other way. They don't want to look at it. It's it's actually very clear, but you keep trying to figure your like it, the, you keep trying to figure your way around it like like to to um unjustify it somehow. Um because like this is a hunt. You want what you want. Be devoted and committed and wait for important information. Almost like to try to, this is like a twisted energy. Somebody's trying to twist something here. But there is a sense of important information. You were waiting on this. You were waiting on this. Oh, maybe you were waiting for a decision or a conclusion or some sort of verdict to come in. You were holding judgment until then. Okay, so what's, I'm sorry, sweetheart. What's the important information that's going to come in? When is it coming? I don't need to know any of this spirit. Just what is it coming in and what is it? When is this, when is this important information coming in? So unfinished symphony. That doesn't make any sense to me. But a little bit in the future, you won't have to wait long. And what is it? What is this information? There was something unfinished or you couldn't finish. You were sort of left in limbo. Okay, so what is it? Loyal heart. Something about love. This is a repeated thing. Something about something about love. Something about somebody that you care about. Okay, we have Yang. Once again, this is the energy of like not somebody's not putting forward the energy. That's your answer. You already have the answer. It's like you're sitting here waiting for somebody to tell you it's over when their lack of interest or their lack of, of effort is telling you it's over. And yes, you're right. You deserve better. But yes, you're right. You deserve better. As in, who would want a fucking coward who can't just come out and fucking say it's over? Do you know what I'm saying? Of course you deserve better. Why are you holding on waiting for a message you've already received with silence? Because that's showing a lack of interest. You're saying, I don't have enough. You have all the information you need by their behavior. Fuck their words. And I feel like that's the realization that's coming to you. Because there was no, there was no energy put into it. It's like this was supposed to be such a perfect love, but where's the e effort? Where's the energy? It was singular. You're burning yourself out, doing all of it by yourself. You want this because you want it, but that's pride, not love. You're waiting for confirmation, but you already have your confirmation in the fact that you've had to wait for so long. That's your answer. That's your answer. Shit. Who is this douchebag? Capricorn in reverse. 
So this is somebody maybe who is lazy, doesn't work a lot, or is very selfish, like likes to take instead of give. Or, um, yeah, yeah, this is definitely somebody who is kind of into their own thing. Um, mm, okay. Somebody sort of, I don't know, they, I don't know, you feel, uh, they make, this would be, this would be the character of somebody who makes you feel obligated. Or you may be waiting for word on, I don't know if there was, uh, somebody ran out of steam. They ran out of steam, they ran out of energy, and that's the answer. So what do they do about it? You're very close to achieving your goal and bring love into the situation. That doesn't make any fucking sense, except that it's coming in the future. You're very close to achieving your goal and bring love into the situation. So this is all momentum forward. So what, what it is that you want, like it's in your future. It's not here. It's not right now. This has to be unclogged in order for this to come in. You're very close to achieving your goal and bring love into the situation. I will tell you this right now. A couple of days before the full moon, there's a breakthrough. Let's get more information. That link is below. I'll see you guys in the extended.